Welcome to SERP Bros. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to back up your Cisco IOS to a TFTP server. So, the first thing you're going to need is a TFTP server. Now I'm using TFTPD32. Now I'm sure you're all capable of downloading and installing a TFTP server, so I'll just put the link in the description. So go ahead and open it up. So there's a couple of things we need to do here first. First thing is the current directory. If we click browse, we need to choose where the file is going to be saved to. So I've already made a file called TFTP on the desktop. So click on that, click OK. And the second thing is the server interfaces. I'm going to change that to the IP address of this computer. That's it, let's leave that running in the background, our TFTP server's up and running. Now we'll open up our Cisco device, which is a router in this case. So here we are in our router. I'll just type my password in, enable, password again. So the first thing we're gonna do is check the flash memory. So we'll type show flash. So this is the contents of the flash memory. And as you can see, this strange long name here is our Cisco IOS file. So that's the one we want to copy. So what I'll do is type copy flash colon TFTP. Now, if you want to use a FTP site for the added security, you can do that. You just have to type that here. It'll ask you for a username and password. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna use TFTP. So we'll just press enter. And it will ask for a source file name. This is the name of the iOS file itself. Now you have to type this exactly. Um, because I'm using Putty, I can actually just scroll back up, right click onto the highlighted file name and it will just put it in for me. So if I just press enter, it will ask for the address of the TFTP server. So if you remember, we set it as 192.168.0.10. We'll press enter. It'll ask for a destination, a destination file name. So you can call it something different on the TFTP server, but I'm gonna call it the same name and just press enter and it will start to copy and it will probably take a few minutes to go through. Right, so now that's all transferred, we'll jump back to the computer and check our TFTP server. So if we open up our TFTP root folder, which we created on the desktop, just here, you will see our iOS file. That's it for this video. That is how you back up your Cisco iOS to a TFTP server. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.